Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am back with another video for our altered book. Or ripped page book. Um, now, what I did, we only have a few left, so the only ripping that I already did, now again, these are the ones that we've done. We're only doing the pages right now, because for some reason I'm somewhat organized on this so let me grab my clips so I can put this down like that okay so the only thing that I've done throughout to the rest of the book is get these ready and again we've seen those in previous videos um, but we're going to see the special if any um, if there's any left of the covering so I'm just gonna real quick page through because I want to see if there's any, you know, just general ones that can be done. Like this one is a general one where I'm just putting the pages down. Um, now, of course, I didn't ink them, so you would have to suffer through, you know, me inking the pages. Um, but that's okay. That gives me time to chit chat. So, of course, my statement that I say my videos are long when it comes to this type of craft for my journals. I gab, um, you see things that maybe you don't wanna see or you think you they too, take too long. Um, so just note, I do like to gab, I like to talk. I sometimes go off on something else because something reminds me of something um, and that is just what I do. So again, heads up. All right, so back to this. So I have my glue book I am using my glue stick for these pages. Um, yes, you do go through a lot when it comes to the glue, but I do like the way that it adheres um, when it comes to this. Now, I'm just gonna slide that paper clip over and I'm going to get this settled down. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I can get this centered into the page, I think. And that's what I'm looking to do. All right, let's get that even more. So, these I'm just going to real quick do first. Um, because, again, they take the least amount of time, and then I can get that paper clip back over on it. Just gonna keep on rubbing that until the glue adheres and holds down. So there are a lot of these where um, I'm just putting down some blank pages. There's no pockets, you know, or anything like that. But know that each section does have um, technically a pocket, whether it's a side pocket, whether it's a side, a top pocket, at least that's what I wanted to make sure that we had in place. Um, now, one of the things that I'm looking at, and again, this is the first time that I've put, that I'm putting one of these together. Um, something that's throwing me off besides all the glue, is um, all right, so I want to do that. And we're going to turn that paper clip. All right. Um, is like for these pages here, I guess I can just build up and create another pocket that comes in. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. So the ephemera is going to be interesting to say the least. All right, so I'm gonna put that up. So we've got that one. All right, so then, so now that one's done. See, and we're only four minutes in. So this is another one where it's just the two pages as well. So I can actually move or remove that paper clip. And that is going to go here. Again, the two um, 
digital kits that I am using because I felt the need to print them two or three times. Not quite sure. Um, I I believe it's because I put one of the prints somewhere, couldn't find it, so then I just printed it again because that's, you know, pretty much what I would do. Um, so I just grabbed some of the pages and said, okay, we can hold on to the, um, the first one and then I'll just use the pages from the other since I'll have extra. Um, I very rarely, I don't know where this goes. I know where this goes now. <laughs> I'm just going to move this around. Look at other ones. All right, I think we're good. I think I'm crooked, actually, but that's okay. It's okay that I am crooked. I probably tore it crooked. It's all good. Um, so just to use up... You know these these pieces within this I am enjoying this process I think I keep saying that every video um, I'm not enjoying the whole inking of these large pages because obviously it cause more wrinkles than than anything else um, but I'm, I'm getting kind of excited to see how this is going to go um, and how this will work. And of course, just like that, I need another glue stick. Oh, I pray I have some here. Oh, I do. Yay. All right, back in business. Um, I mean, again, I don't look at what can be quick. Okay, let me turn that uh, and so forth. But um, I do really, I really do like this process. Um, I think it's very funny that I am so, okay, I must have this, I must have this um, when it comes to this. So that kind of you know, cracks me up just a little bit. All right, these two pages I can glue together because this is forming um, a section. Um, these two I cannot because I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to grab my art glitter glue for that. And I'm going to put a bead here. And that's my mark the X right there so I know I'm going to be punching right in that area so I'm going to put another bead of glue on the top so top and bottom are where our glue lines glue marks are going I come straight up to get these two pieces to come together and then I do it again on the top and I just push those it helps to keep them in line now I am going to grab let me look here my hole punch or I should say my circle punch and of course I can't find it you know, you think you have everything in front of you. Okay, let me check one more spot. And I found it. All right, so I'm going to come in and just on the front, and we're going to do that punch out.
and I'm gonna make sure that I ink, you know, that area. Usually try to do it. I'm gonna do all the inking of the pages. I won't have you, you know, see that um, as I go through and do that. Now it looks like, yes, this is the same way as well. And I think that's because I went off in pages. So I just filled in that way. So I can get rid of that paper clip as well because we'll be gluing these together as well. Oh, and I can't because there's my mark up there. So I'm going to, the X is showing me where I'm to punch and on what side of the grouping I am to punch. This I can actually go up now. Not worry about it. So here we go. So now I'm trying to put my binder back on there so I can keep that like that. And these go like this. And we'll ink those up. So this is great. I mean, and again, now I'm using um, two two digital downloads. Um, you can use scrapbook paper, you can use pattern paper, you know, whatever you have in your stash. You can also use the junk that you get in the mail, you know, instead of throwing it away. And if you don't have the ability to recycle it, you can use that as well. I mean, why not? Um, because then you can add paint over it, you know, and it can be acrylics, doesn't have to be any type of special paint. Um, so again, there's all kinds of fun or ways that you can create this. Um, I always, I just happen to have for some reason, um, multiple copies um, of a John Grissom book, which I thought was just funny. So, figured I would just use one of those so that we don't have to, you know, kill ourselves, you know, finding a book. But where I would normally get my books for this process is the dollar store. Um, to me, that's the, you know, the best location. I'm going to turn this one up. That one's going to be fun. And I am going to get this side on now. Uh, but that's where I would get my books. Um, you know, first I, I look at, because my husband and I are just always and constantly purging. Um, we're slowly getting through the house. Um, it's an awesome feeling. Um, I'm not making sure he's not in my craft room. Just saying. Um, but I'm keeping all of the, sorry, of course the glue stick I grabbed was already empty. So yeah, um, if he gets rid of any of his books, then I'm making sure that I grab, you know, those as well. And that's what I'm using them for. He just laughs. So, and again, it all depends on the size. Um, you know, if you are into journaling or, or, you know, creating a junk journal or a regular journal, you know, a lot of times you could use this altered book process to literally make a book to hold your ephemera. You know, that would be pretty awesome. I'm just going to push that down. All right, now I'm going to come back to these two because now I can glue these pages together. So again, not the top. We're going to go to the side. I'm 
I'm going to go to the bottom. And I am going to go right here. Remember, I'm putting this break in there so that I have that ability. All right, I'm going to come up. My palms are going to make those two ends meet. And now I'm just going to shimmy down the page because we're doing the top. And we want to do the center. All right, that is done. Now when I turn, so this is a lot, so we're going to skip that one. Okay, and then I'm going to look. Now this is just a plain one as well, meaning there's no other pockets. I'm just putting these pages down so we can get these done. Where are we at? And look at that. It's only quarter after, or it's only been 15 minutes. So I'm hoping to get these pages done today. I'd really like you to see it. I'll page through it. Um, but we shall see. And tell you what, you know what? We will make sure that this video gets all of the pages done um, today. So we may be even longer than normal. So again, if you really don't like long videos, you probably don't want to be here for this one. Um, it's going to be a long one. But I don't think so. These are going pretty quick. I only have a few more to do. So, yeah, those are the books that, you know, I use. You want to make sure. Let me turn that clip. And again, you want to make sure that you can tear out the pages when it comes to the book that you are using. You want to make sure that they're not signatures, that they're glued. Um, and that type of thingy. I mean, you can tear the other ones out. It's just very difficult. You've really got to put your hands in there and you got to work it um, and all that. So it can get extremely cumbersome when it comes to that. Um, let's see. What else? Now, I did, as I was saying, I, I have the two digitals that, that kind of match each other. You know, there's like a, a similar theme going on here. Just know you don't have to do that. I mean, and I think you guys know that. You know, have fun. Use, use something different. Use all kinds of, of different colors in your scraps. Why not? Okay, I'm just going to flip this up. Or flip that back up. So I don't lose that. I'm going to, let's say this is, yes, this is another one. So I'm going to take that paper clip off, put that away. I'm going to punch the top. This is another one that I'll be able to do that with. And I'll be able to do that. So we're going to close that. And now we're going to work on these. Just ink those up. So... <clears throat> The ephemera that I'm going to create is still going to come, you know, from these kits as well. But I might be able to throw, you know, other things in, uh, my own stamping. I think I'm going to get all of the inking out of the way here. Why not? Um, so I think I'm just going to dig around, you know, adding my tickets and stuff like that when it comes to this. Um, I do see this having, though, a lot of ephemera, so I think it's going to be cool to create 
um, the tags and you can probably create your own envelopes. I mean, why not? Um, I do like creating the ephemera and there's so many things out there that you can do when it comes to creating, you know, your pockets or your tags or your tucks um, and all of that. Let's see, is this? All right, so this one, that side's a normal side. So we can actually do that one too. But I am going to just turn that so that I can get it out of the way. I'm hoping this doesn't confuse me because, yeah, it doesn't take much. that up just a little bit I'm okay knowing that this is crooked I think it adds just a little bit of interest then the goal is usually you know to always have your pages you know equal put together um, but there are times where you know we can go a little crooked I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down there on that one And now, let's see here, which one? All right, that gets glued there. I don't have any X's here, so I have the X over here. So we will ink these up. And again, I won't show you I'm always confused as to which way this is supposed to go. Oh, no, wait a minute. Here's the thing there. Okay, so that is going to go there. This goes like this. Okay. It's a beautiful page, but I get confused. Um, and I forget what I was saying. I should really change my glue page. I think this is just sticking to it now. Okay, now this is stuck on my finger. All right, I can do this. Put that there. I am going to punch this so I don't forget because I kind of covered up that X. Right, I better turn on this. All right. Got that. And this one here, you can see I've got three layers. So I'm just going to keep that one there. I'm going to glue these two together. So we're going to go down here and up or down the side let's say and again through our palms we're going to push it up put pressure in there and then I'm going to rub as I come from the bottom to make sure that it's straight to push the sides together So now that can go, and then so can this one. We can glue this one together, and we're going to do both of the sides. Same thing. Come up from the bottom. You will actually lift up the book, which is fine.
All right. So that's all set. Now that one we're going to hold off because I've got three things going on there. And this is the last one. <laughs> Did you like how I did that? So let's get these in. And it looks like then I would just need to do just this one side. And we'll do that one on the way back. One, two. And then there's just two left. So we're at 25. Yeah, we can do this. Absolutely. Okay, I need my clip. I don't know if this clip is going to work, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> Now, let's see, is that? Yeah, I will need that paper clip in there. That's okay. I'll just do well. I'll just put that on there right now so I, I see it. I think. I do like the fact, and I don't know where I have, okay, there's already some inking on the edge so I don't have to like kill myself. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, so I know last time I did um, a video I had asked you know, if I wanted all of that in there. Um, but then today I thought, you know, if I just take care of getting them cut in half, whether they stay that way or, um, you have to do, you know, other things to them. I mean, why not? At least in that part, you have the other videos where you can watch that. All right, let's see here. We want to get this up here and that down there and that's too close so okay we'll do that getting ink all over my finger and now we'll do this one Down. So I'm still getting ready, or maybe by the time I show this, um, I've been somewhat out of pocket for a little bit. Um, and that's because I was getting ready. Um, I have a website that I'm opening up with products. And I do have an Etsy store. Um, I have two of them, actually. I'm closing one down um, and moving some of those products into there or into my include a thank you. Um, now I'm confused. Okay, so this I need to glued together. So I am going to do this one off to the side. Am I doing that one? No, I'm not. Oh, stop doing that, Des. Okay, so this one, I need to figure out. So that's going to be a top pocket. And you know what? I'm actually, I didn't mark it, but I'm going to make the top over here. As I can. Oh, because that's just what we're going to go with. Just saying. All right. And then I can now put that paper clip on there. Okay. So this is going to have a three part tear to it. Um, so, yeah. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. All 
All right, so if I do that, if I just look at it like that, so I'm marking the page. I'm feeling underneath where that one page is. Now I need my long scissors because now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a very small, like a quarter of an inch over that so that I can fold it. So you can see that I have this piece sitting here. I'm going to let go of that clip and I'm going to turn it. as best as I can. All right, now I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to fold that over because I want that crease to help me guide these pages as I go. All right, so I have that one. So if I turn that back, that goes there. And again, it, it, it went a little crooked, but I'm good with it. Now for this next piece, I want it I want it to be just a little bit more. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece in place and I'm going to feel for this next part. And I'm just letting my nail go right down that. Now I'm going to turn it over this way. And now I'm going to cut that scant mark because I want to be beyond it. Okay, so this is just going to sit in here like that. All right. Yeah, because that's going to go like that. Now, this piece here is just going to come in, and I'm going to have that sit right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, coffee-dyed paper underneath that. So I need a piece of coffee-dyed paper. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to bring in my ruler. I'm going to put that underneath. Let that flip up. All right, let's make sure that's straight. All right, now we can do that. And now I think I don't need that big of a piece. I think right now I can just take this and do that. All right, so let's, oh boy. So let's do the inking. And I'm gonna ink around these edges. All right, now. Let's see, if I take that, I'm trying to think, do I want to put, well, yeah, sure. Whoops. All right. So now, I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to put that along that edge and I am going to hope and it's not all right so I'm going to do that I'm gonna quick flip this over so it doesn't do anything else I'm going to push that over Matter of fact I'm gonna put my finger I'm gonna use some liquid glue make sure because again I don't want that to um, 
curl up, lift up, and I am also going to cut away some of this center here. Because we don't need all of that bulk. And again, I'm going to pull in my liquid glue. And I'm going to fold that down. And just keep pushing and making sure it's not sticking. Yes. Now, for this one, I'm going to hold off for a second here because I want to make sure that this is sitting where that needs to be. So I'm gonna real quick get this tucked in. And I don't need to do the bottom. All right, so now I'm gonna keep that down. I know I need to be there. And I believe I need to be here. And if not, that's where I'm going to be. And we're going to put that down there. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to take off some of that top. And I'm going to glue that down. Just so that I can get that out of the way. Alrighty, so now we've got that. All right, now I need to take this, this piece, oh, not like that. Um, not like that. Um, not like that. Okay, now I'm confused. All right, so not sure what I did but we're going to correct that now. You all probably saw what I did, so thank you. All right, I'm going to put that there. Oh, I know what I did. Oh, silly me. All right, we're gonna lift that up. We're gonna tear that away. I need to tear it down here. so that it covers the um, area that it should. All right, don't really care about that. All right, so what I need to do is put this just like that. I need to pick that up. I'm going to push this over and I am going to fold that over. Sorry about that. Who knew? Phone stopped recording. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, if I put that there though, that doesn't do that very well. And that is needed for that and this okay so what I can do we're gonna see if this works all right so I got that put that there put that there And shush that up there. Works for me, and that's what we'll go with. All right, so now we just want to add ink on that line there. 
and up top there. And we'll add our glue. And we will, I don't know what we're gonna do here. Oh my. All right, so we are going to do that lightly. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to quick flip that over. And then I'll pull this over. Now, when you coffee dye, I got quiet there for a minute because I was, I was thinking, wasn't quite sure what I was doing. Now, the beauty, again, because of the paper, the paper that I use when I coffee dye is very inexpensive. It's the same paper that I use to print. Um, very inexpensive um, copy paper. Um, just push that down. And then we've got that. And now what I want to put in is that one strip obviously this does not want to stay on okay so now I'm gonna put this in here so I'm gonna have that be in the center it's just something a little bit different um, in the formation of the pocket and of course that is going to be the most obnoxious thing to <laughs> try to ink that point um, so we'll just oh we'll make it work all right and now we will place this and these can actually stay down and I am going to put this to the edge again you get that that different cut so I kind of really do um, like that all right so this one's done now what we're going to do is we're going to add our glue so that we can layer these pocket pages is what we'll call them so I always like to put glue on the smaller one the one that's in the front first and then bring my pages up and now we're going to do the same thing Now we want to glue this entire pocket page on to create our other pocket. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our glue down a certain level so that we're not falling into it. Some of them we've kept that way. I think, I'm not sure if I did them all. I'm not sure if I made that decision. But, I mean, it's good for documents, you know, that you're folding um, or anything else like that. Me, I just like tags, and this is usually the largest tag that I'm working with. Okay, so now that is all set. Where are we at? I have no idea where we're at, so guess what? Only because my timer restarted. So we are going to do all of these pages. So we have two more to go and we are going to do them now of course these are the most intricate let's say all right so 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to grab my ruler. So we're just going to create them within the book. And I'm going to come up just a little bit. I'm going to rip that. All right, so that's our bottom. I'm going to remove that pocket. And I think what I'm going to do. All right, so that's going to go down there and then I think I'm going to have this real thin strip. Rip it carefully. I don't want to lose it. All right. So I'm going to have that out there. All right. So now I just need to add a piece and I'll need two of them. I'm just going to tear off, let's see, just a little bit from each side. and that should be close and it is okay so this I'm not worried about and this I'm going to put right about there and I'm actually going to tear that in half because I don't need that much so why waste my coffee dyed paper it is a commodity for me I'm going to do the edges because this is going to be underneath. All right, so I need to put that there and put that there. And my pattern paper is going to be on top or my digital download. All right, so. Going to do that, and we can do that. Now this, we're going to ink up, and hopefully this looks like how I think it should. Not sure though. All right, now. I forget which way this page goes. Got it. And we are going to put that right like that. And I put it on upside down. Okay, let's try it again. So we're going to put that <laughs> just like that. There we go. See, anything can be fixed. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to flip this. I'm going to hold that in place as best as I can. I'm going to make sure it's straight and then I'm just going to bend it over just to have that crease. You probably can't see it. There you go. I'm just bending it over the page so that I can have that definite crease. I'm going to cut some of this away. So again, minimizing the bulk. Have that add my glue just so that that can get down all 
All right, and now we will ink. All right. So once I I look and say, okay, this is how this is going to go. <laughs> But there's sometimes I came up with some of these folds and I'm like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. So I only put a little bit of pressure when I first put it down with the um, glue stick. And then that'll just stick to the paper so that I can just pull it over, um, do that. And then I'm just gonna fill in on these lines because sometimes it's not exact where I have it but I can just go down that line so that's how that's gonna look I think that looks really cool again I'm gonna cut away some of this bulk put some glue down on that and get that settled And that just makes it, wow, could I make that any closer? Oh my. And again, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna carefully, carefully fold this over. And now I wanna fold, put that fold right on that, right up against that. Now again, I'm gonna ink. And now we're gonna glue. Okay, so I know in um, the two kits that I use, there's a lot of pieces that they designed, like envelopes um, and all of that. And those, I'm, act I'm actually going to use those. And then I'll use some of, um, you know, the other pieces that they have as well. But I'll start with those and again they can go into these large pockets that we have for their pieces okay i love that i love the way that it just fans through i think that is really really cool um i don't know it's just something different i guess um, now I have the same thing on this side, but I have to be honest, I don't know if I want to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the balance. Okay, that's something that's on. Okay. All right, that's something that's on this side. That's something that's on this side. That's on both sides. That's something that's on. Okay, so I really, really like this side. So, yeah, I am going to do this as well. So, I'm going to do this one the same way that I did this side as well. So, I'm going to cut these down and then I'm going to put that piece of coffee dyed paper in there. So, let me break the video right now because then I can come in and I'll do the same thing on this side. Again, I don't want the videos to be too long, um, but I want you to be able to see what this all is. All right, so let me break. I'll finish this side and we'll come back and we'll do these. <clears throat> okay, so we're ready to do this layout. I thought it was gonna be more difficult, but it's not. So let's go real quicker to go back on this one. So you can see I've got a pocket here on each side and I've got a pocket here on each side and I have a cutout on each side of this as well okay so again now we're going to go into this one so it's kind of a 
a double layer. So I'm going to set these aside. And what I'm going to do is I am going to ink, 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 ink. And it's funny with the amount of sections that I created um, within this altered book, I only have like maybe five, five or six pages left. And it's like this background here. So it was perfect. I doubt I'll ever be able to do that again, but hey, you know, hey, why not? All right, so I'm gonna get these, I need to change this out. All right, I wanna get these in place. So again, we're gonna do the glue stick. And we're going to get this in place. All right. Push that down. I like the fact that I see that stamp on that side and I'm going to do this one as well. Now this is actually the same page but I'm actually flipping it. Um, I'm flipping the one that I'm gluing now, I'm turning it because I want the writing to both go in, in towards the center. Um, I didn't want it to go, you know, the same way. This should actually be, you know, coming off of that document, so. But that's okay. So you can see that when this is open, you know, you can see that writing, you can see that stamp, you can see that up there. So it's really cool. Now I chose a different page for these and I'm going to ink these up. Now I thought there was going to be some, you know, coffee dyed papers involved in this, um, but I don't think we are going to have to do that, which is awesome. I'm going to put that down there. And we will go down there. Okay. So. I'm going to say if I take that just like that okay hold that and you can see I did trim my pages down and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut that and I think And here I thought this one was going to be easy. I still think it is, but there's just something that I've got to be really careful about. Because I would rather not add um, the coffee dyed paper, to be real honest. All right, now I'm going to place that down. I know that's covering that. And of course I shifted that. All right, so let's just fold that over like that. And then I am going, let's say, would I be able? To push that over. So I'm gonna use the liquid glue for this because I think the, the glue stick is strong, but I need something just a little bit stronger because I'm really 
stretching that paper out and now I'm going to add some liquid glue to these and we'll push that down and we'll push that down as well all right and we will ink that edge so I really like that. I like the way that this comes up um, different. And we're going to do that again. Uh, fold that down. And I'm going to cut that away. I'm so idiotic. All right, let's see if it works. All right, we're gonna push that down there. And I've actually got some more room here. So that's fine, we'll put some regular liquid glue on this. Turn that over. Okay, sorry about that. Something went wrong. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put glue down here on the bottom of this because I do want that open. As well, a matter of fact, I'm going to come up about an inch to where that piece of um, pattern digital print comes in. So we got that. I'm going to come down. And then bring this down here. Same thing. I have got glue all over my fingers. Oh. All right. Now, what I need to do is I am going to, because on each side of these, all right, I am going to punch out my half circles we'll ink them and now we will glue them so again we're going to do top and bottom and then once these are in we have done it and I will real quick page through. So this video is probably even longer than normal. And then we'll do this one.
Okay. All right, that's just interesting. Okay, so let's move some stuff. Put my cap on my glue stick. And move this stuff. Oh, if you all could only see the outer edges of this filming area. Oi. Find my pin. Make sure that's in there. Or else that causes me all kinds of problems. Alrighty. So again, I used a book. Um, that for some reason I must have really enjoyed and bought multiple copies. So we'll figure out something to do here, here, here. So here's where we start. And again, we have a pocket here. And then we have an extremely large pocket here. So let me put this here. All right, now you can see by putting that, you know, that's a good one for papers. This is not a pocket. And then you have a pocket here and I've put a stop, a stopper in there so that things can come up the top. So here we have a pocket here, we have a pocket here, and then we have our side pocket. We have our top, and again, I've put a stopper into it. Some nice journaling spaces here. Don't believe I'm gonna do anything to these pages. And then of course we have a side pocket here and we have a pocket here same for over here a pocket here and one of our side pockets here we have nothing going on over here I've got a side pocket here and then also another side pocket plain I've got a top pocket with a stopper Oh, great. Somehow that glued. See, this is why we check our stuff before we keep going. Okay, there we go. All fixed. And that has a stopper as well. Now this, for some reason, got very skinny. So something must have done something, but that's okay. I've just loosened it. Here we have a pocket here with a stopper and we have a pocket here. A side pocket clear over here. We have a top pocket with a stopper and we have a side. These are the ones that we just worked on today. So I got pocket here, a pocket here, I've got a pocket here, and I've got a pocket here, and I've got a side pocket here. This is clear on this side. I've got another side pocket here, and I've got a top pocket here with a lower stopper. Everything's clear here. I've got a side pocket. I've got a pocket here. I've got a pocket here. And I've got another side pocket here. I've got a top pocket. This does not have a stopper in it. So this goes all the way. So that is a good um, thing for documents. Nothing on this side. I've got a side pocket here and I've got a pocket here and I've got a pocket here. And again, that one's pretty deep too. So again, you want to make sure that with, or what I'm going to make sure is that I have something in there to show, you know, Hey, this is, this is a pretty deep. So I'll probably take a piece of coffee dyed paper and put that in there and just set that in there and have some fringe maybe coming off of it or um, something like that. This one, I do not believe that one does. Okay, I did do that. This one does have a stopper as well for a top pocket, but I forgot about that. So those are our decorated pages and then we'll figure out something to do with these um, and really just these two because we've got to cover up. These are all blank um, back in there so that can be left alone. So you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's 19 decorated sets um, of pages. And you can see, you know, it with those, it just, I mean, you can squeeze it down, um, but if you just let it sit, you know, it is going to expand and so forth. So I'm gonna let this settle. Again, we've got our cover um, to look at, our spine to look at, the pages inside, and then of course our ephemera. So I will be back with more on this um, when it comes to all of that fun, good things. As always, if you have any questions, please make sure you leave a question down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Usually for the products that I use for my journals, um, a lot of them do sit in my Amazon link down in the video description. Um, it is an affiliate link, just want to let you know that. And again, no cost to you. Um, I do receive a small commission through your purchases. Um, enjoy your day. Keep doing that. Keep smiling. Keep staying safe and healthy. We've got a lot of things. 2020 has been an awesome year. But always remember what's most important. Just do it a little bit. It doesn't have to be this. It doesn't even have to be a craft. Believe it or not, as we continue each day, we are always being creative. Take care, everyone. Till next time.